Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and today we're going to be making our way down to Melania. But before we do, like always, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen, and I did absolutely nothing. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Now I just want to warn everybody, this is going to be an extremely long episode today. We have a lot to do, and not a lot of time to get it done. Careful for the, these guys, they will explode on you. The ones that are glowing. We'll take out the lookout as well. We're going to go inside here. Kill two soldiers. to the top have another soldier up here I'm gonna jump over here to this root and then we're gonna run up top here come over here for a sword not really that great of a sword, but if you want to try it out, feel free. I have a ton of ancient dragon smithing stones. We're going to come down this route. We're going to hop down. Kill these two soldiers right here. And we're going to run down these steps. See a lookout right here. Just be really careful. We have one hiding off behind him. He is an exploding one, so that is a thing. Don't worry about that soldier. We have a clean rot knight. Thing we have a crimson scarab. Give us back a flask. Come in here, get the spear ash clean rot knight finlay. Come up over here, open up this chest to get a somber ancient dragon smithing stone. Come over here, grab a seed bed curse, and then we're going to hop down, be really careful. We're going to have a soldier right in front of us. Wouldn't worry about going inside here. Take him out. And then we'll sneak up behind this clean rot knight. For a backstab.
go ahead and grab us some loots here. Grab a smithing stone 7 and then come over here. Grab a golden rune 10. We're going to kill these soldiers first and then turn around to grab an item. Grab some immunizing white cured meat. And then right over here we have a soldier with a shield. Oh, I was going to try to sneak up behind him. He's seen it coming. I like to get a jumping attack on him and then a regular attack. So we can get a critical. Just off to the right we're going to have another soldier. Be careful. Charged R2. over here use a stone sword key go ahead and grab the triple rings of light pretty cool faith spell for all you faith users if we come over here we can roll off come down to this ledge Right over here is an elevator that we're going to unlock, but much later into the game. And it's not really that useful, so I don't know why it's here. Let's get a running start. Jump across. Be careful for the Erd Tree avatar. We're going to come back and fight that in just a second. First, we're going to come over here. Oh, it's seen us already? Oh, no. That's not good. Not expect the Erdtree avatar to see us so soon, but it looks like it backed off. So let's drink a flask and then our wondrous flask. Buff our weapon. Erd tree avatars in here. They are so beefy. Woo, that was close. So for killing the Erdtree avatar, we get the Rotten Staff. And I almost missed an item. It's right here. It's a Newman's Ruin. By the way, this whole area is amazing for farming runes. So if you're low on some runes and you want a few extra levels, just keep running this area and you will get them in no time. Get another somber ancient dragon smithing stone. We're going to hop down here. Then we're going to hop down one more time. I hate these creatures, man. 
They are the worst. So after killing that, we're going to unlock this fog wall with our stone sword key. Come over here and get Merica's sword seal. That is a legendary talisman. You need that for a trophy. Have another one of these guys. Right over here is another one. Luckily, we killed it before it could actually fight us. We should have one patrolling down this way. We're going to kill it first because we're going to have to kill three crystallines. I mean, technically, we don't have to kill the crystallines. But it does make it a whole lot easier in getting the items if we do. Where's that thing going? We're going to come in here. Just to our right is our first crystalline. Should be all right to bring your mimic tier in here or whatever you're using. It will blink, but it's not enough to make it disappear. At least it's never disappeared on me, which is nice. Come over here and grab us a somber nine. Get a pickled turtleneck. And then we're going to run out this way. Now be really careful. There are some enemies up there. I have had them run at me. As you can see, some of them are climbing down the ladder and stuff. I don't know what this guy is doing. We're going to come over here. We have another one of those... Shitty Revenant guys, or whatever you want to call them. I think they're called Revenants. Not absolutely sure. Get a Smithing Stone 8. And then we're going to climb up this ladder, and we're going to have two Clean Rot Knights. Might as well heal ourselves now. We're going to have two clean rot knights and a bunch of soldiers to kill. Just be very careful. Okay, let my Mimic Tear fight him. Don't let him drink that stuff. It's going to spit out some poison, like a cloud of poison. Keep that in mind. Okay, just making sure I'm not forgetting any of the soldiers. And I am not. I'm going to come up here. 
I don't know if he cl killed that clean rot knight or not, but hopefully he did. Get the Haley Tree Soldier Ashes. Come over here for a smithing eight. We're going to pull out our bow. Shoot these guys. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to switch out our long bow for the great bow. We're going to summon our mimic tier back in. And then what I'm going to do is get the attention of this Erd Tree avatar. Yep, we've got another one to kill over here. But it's a little easier because we actually have our summon. Try to stay away from his jumping attack. Oop, I didn't realize it was locked onto me. Let's go down there and help our mimic tear out. I am stuck in this corner. This is not good. Okay. Jump down here, take out these two knights. This is the easiest way to take care of these guys. Use your Mimic tier, summon them in first, and then use a bow or um, some kind of projectile to hit the Erdtree avatar and then come down and kill those two knights. Grab a Smithing Stone 6, and then we're going to light this Grace. Come over here and activate this summoning pool. Come up top here. Grab the Halig Tree Night Helm. And we're going to hop down. Grab an Arteria Leaf, Golden Rune 11, see if I can't backstab this guy here. And then we are going to backtrack all the way over here. This is where we fought the two clean rot knights earlier. And then just on the other side of this door, we're going to hop over the balcony, drop down right here. And then down in here, we're going to get another seed bed curse. Go ahead and grab the seed bed curse. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to go over here and fast travel to the inner wall. Switch out our great bow to the long bow again. So we have three crystallines. What we're going to do is we're going to Take one out at a time.
two more to kill. I like to take the ones out with the spear first, and then I come down there for the one with the staff. Now normally, I would just run in here, grab this chest, and if I died, I died, but you know, just to show everybody, you don't have to die there. You can take them out one at a time if you want. So in the chest, we get the Rotten Crystal Sword. Not a bad sword for any spellcasters out there. Plus, it also has the Scarlet Rot buildup on it. Get a Hero's Rune 5. I'm going to hop down over here, take out this pest, bane of my existence, I think I've said that before, somewhere in this walkthrough, but it is the truth. So we're about to have to go through a swamp of scarlet rot, and it's going to slow us down, so be prepared for that. Of course I would miss him. Now you can use a dagger through here if you want to quick step. Not gonna bother with it. I'm just gonna roll my way through it. There's nothing in this swamp that you need. Maybe some Aeonian butterflies, but that's just crafting materials, so I'm not even gonna worry about it. Then we're gonna come over here. Just over here, we're gonna hop down onto this route. Go ahead and Cure our Scarlet Rot so we don't die. And then we'll come over here. We're going to hop down. And then we're going to go through this doorway. Hop down right here. Activate this grace and then we're gonna sit at it so that we can get all of our flasks back because we're getting ready to fight a uh, Cursed beast I think they are I Forget what they're called but They're pretty gnarly looking they usually give you a golden seed which this one will give us a golden seed even though we are Completely maxed out on our flasks. So up top here, we're going to have another pest. We want to make sure that we take care of him. And then we can come over here to this root. I wanted to make sure that everybody got that grace first because it is so easy to die to this enemy. I'm going to run into the swamp, back up a little bit.
Okay, now that that is dead, we get a seed and we can pick up this great grave glove wart. We'll heal ourselves again. Make sure that the scarlet rot doesn't build up on us. Right over here, we're going to be able to help Millicent or invade her. Now, whichever one you choose, you're going to get a different talisman. Um, doesn't really matter. They're both kind of the same talisman. I just personally like to help Millicent. So I'm going to go ahead and help her. We're going to be fighting four of Millicent's sisters at the same time. This fight is an absolute mess. Oh my goodness, get off me. So for help in Millicent, we get the Rotten Winged Sword Insignia. And oh my goodness, that fight. I thought it was going to die there because she just kept stabbing me. By the way, if you do die there, that's okay. You can go right back into that fight if you need to. Let's go ahead and talk to Millicent, see what she's got to say. Oh, hello. Thank you for lending your hand. Without your help, I could not have defeated that quartet. I feel as if I've been in your debt from beginning to end. Thank you. With your help, I was able to live as my own person, if only in passing. But this is where things end. I pause to even tell you. I took out the needle myself. Tell whoever put you up to this that if I am to flower into something other than myself, I would rather rot into nothingness as I am. Please, let me pass alone. The scarlet rot writhes now, worse than ever, soon. I won't be more than a mound of flesh, curse-laden, untouchable. I wouldn't want such a thing to bring you harm. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is exit the game and come back in so we can get the needle from her. So I'll see everybody in just a second. Let's go ahead and grab the needle from Millicent. And then what we're going to do is just fast travel right over here to the drainage channel. Okay, we're going to come out this way. Come over to this route. Just follow it along until we get over to a beam that's jetting out for us to hop on. Right here. Just kind of follow your way over to this church. Once we get over here, we're going to run up to the top here. And then we're going to hop down inside. Be really careful not to get pushed off.
Right here, we're going to get an amazing talisman, the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman. We're going to put that on immediately. And then right here, we can shoot this pest. Come out here for some nascent butterflies. And then right here, take the big pest out first. Hop over here. Thought there was one more. Take it out. And then we're going to go over to the right first. There's only two items that we need to grab over here. We're not even going to fight any enemies. It's just not worth it. I mean, if you want to for the runes, feel free. Uh, but I'm not going to bother with them. Like I said, this is an amazing place to farm runes. This whole area. From the Halig Tree canopy to the... Essentially all the way down to the boss room. Oh my goodness. That guy was waiting for me. Go ahead and drink our wondrous flask of physic. Now we're going to take out as many pests as we can here. This guy's still chasing me? Oh my goodness. Wow. Alright, now that we're back from that bullshit death I just had, let's go ahead and try this again. I apologize, everybody. Let's drink our flask. Kill these pests. Oh, and use one of our rune arcs. We definitely are not hurting for rune arcs. At least I'm not. Don't be scared to use your flasks. This spot is really dangerous. Just having all these pests around. I do not run straight through here because it is just so easy to die. It's ridiculous. Alright, we got the Ghost Glove Wart 
Pickers, Bell Bearing 3. That is the only reason I come over here is for that Bell Bearing. Other than that, I probably wouldn't come over here. Because it's just a bunch of Ghost Glove work. Now we're going to come back over here to the church. We're going to go down this elevator. We're going to light this grace. We're going to sit at this grace. Grab the traveler's clothes. And then right here's that elevator that I was talking about at the very beginning of the episode. So send that back up. Like I said, I don't know why they put an elevator right there. Maybe to kill the Earth Tree Avatar if you didn't already. I don't know. I have no clue. Go ahead and activate this summoning pool and then we're going to drink our flask we're going to buff our weapon put our shield back on and then fight melania I dreamt for so long. My flesh was dull gold and my blood rotted. Corpse after corpse left in my wake. As I awaited his return. Heed my words. I am Melania, Blade of Mikola. And I have never known defeat. So every time she hits you, she is going to heal. It is a crappy boss fight. She does that, back away. Just back away. Lead is really good against her.
Wait. Scarlet bloom flowers once more. You will witness true horror. Now, rot. Here comes the hard part of the boss fight. Do not go in there. She will put Scarlet Rot on you, and it is not like any other Scarlet Rot you have ever dealt with. This is some potent stuff. So for killing her, we get her great rune and her remembrance. Let's go ahead and sit at this grace. Now there's going to be a flower over here. We're going to touch it, get Mikola's needle, along with another somber ancient dragon smithing stone. Now what we want to do is we want to zoom out, go all the way down to Kalid here. Go to the Celia Understair. We're going to come southwest over here. So we're going to end up killing Gowrie, but first let's go ahead and talk to him. Oh, Millicent, my daughter, why would you take out the needle? You were so close, so very close to becoming the fairest of all flowers. Would you disown us too, as your mother did? We children of the scarlet rot. Millicent, Melania, do you detest us so utterly? Go ahead and kill him. For killing him, you're going to get the Phlox Canvas Talisman. Really good faith talisman for all you faith builds. And we're also going to get his bell bearing. Now we're going to zoom out again. Come up to the capital. Go over to the divine bridge. We're going to run right past this enemy. If you want to kill him, feel free. I just want to go into this teleporter.
Go ahead and light this grace. Then come up to the top. We can see Furumazula over there. We're going to be going over there very soon. Let's go ahead and go back to the round table hold. I'll see everybody over there. We're going to come over here. Show everybody what we can get from Melania's Remembrance. We can get the Hand of, of Melania. Amazing katana. An, an amazing katana. I love using this. Very good for dex builds. And you can also get Scarlet Aeonia, which is essentially what she did when she went up in the air and then like flew down and big burst of like the flower and the Scarlet Rot. It's essentially that. I'm actually going to grab the hand of Melania just because I love this weapon. You can also buy her armor set along with the Royal Knight set. So if you want to get that, you can. And then you can also get uh, the Lord of Blood's robes. Now, let the work. Let's go over to Gideon. We're going to talk to him a few times. So the secret medallions led you to the land of the Halig tree. I'd expect to find Melania there. She who fought Radan to a standstill. Well, if the Scarlet Rot hasn't eaten her away completely. But with the Halig tree as it is, I suppose Mikola must already be. Ah, my apologies. Lost myself for a moment there. The information you've shared is of great value. As promised. Your reward. A secret right, known only to me. You are a true fellow. All I ask is that you remain constant. We get Black Flame's protection. And then we're going to talk to him one more time. So, the Haley Tree. Now but a husk. I heard speculation Mikola embedded himself in the Haley Tree. But, before he could finish, someone cut the tree open and absconded with his infant form. Indeed, it seems those words held weight. How vexing that the all-knowing didn't have the full story. Perhaps the Queen's sorrow was justified. Ah, my apologies. Lost myself for a moment there. The information you shared is of great value. As promised. Your reward. A secret right known only to me. You are a true fellow. All I ask is that you remain constant. And he's going to give us the Lord's Divine Fortification. Now what we want to do is go all the way over to the mountaintops of the giants and go over to the Forge of the Giants. Alrighty, everyone, this is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.